The senior class, of course, Boo Booey, Chase Audij, and Robbie Barron. Uh, that group has certainly paid their dues. Robbie will make his 99th start here tonight in his 119th career game. This team is resilient, they're tough, they're battle-tested, and they've used their disappointments to fuel uh, them this year to higher expectations uh, that they've created for themselves, which I think is the most important thing. All right, you want to just walk in and sit down? <clears throat> we good? Good. Perfect. two days to relax and just be in a really good spot going into the Big Ten tournament. It's, it's new for everybody, but I think we're all just super excited to just do what we got to do. Past three years, we've been uh, teetering at the 12-13 seed, and you know, to go from that jump to, to number two, like, it just means the world. And like, it's the whole reason why, you know, I came back for this uh, you know, senior year, you know, regardless of what other people, you know, outside voices were trying to say, um, you know, definitely knew what we had in the locker room and just excited that you know, everybody's able to see that. We feel like we're supposed to be here. We know we deserve to be here. So it's kind of just like another everyday thing opposed to you know, the world watching and seeing that we're supposed to finish 13th and we finished second. So they're, oh, Northwestern really shocked the world, but you know, to ourselves, you know, we just proved to ourselves what we said we were capable of. So, media day, you know what it is. Yeah, pass, pass. Great ball. It's a little tight, you me? So, I see you going to a little bucket, you know what I mean? <laughs> Do an impression of your coach or a teammate. From now? Okay, go ahead. Alright, uh... <laughs> <laughs> um... You guys got all the answers. You got all the answers. You guys got all the answers. <laughs> That's what he says when he gets mad at us. Uh, if, we're, if we have something, like if he yells at us and someone says something back or, or we disagree, uh, he just says, you guys got all the answers. Can, can you do it one more looking in here and tell us who, who, uh, who the That's person a good one. is? Oh yeah, so this is our head coach, Coach Collins. At some point, you gotta say like getting us to a tournament does not get you a lifetime contract. I know you're Northwestern, but it, it's, it was one tournament, okay? Yeah. Like you gotta, yep. you gotta get some done. Thank you, Commissioner Warren. Um, always exciting to kind of get started with the season with the with the media day today. We have five of our top seven guys, scorers back from last year, uh, a number of veteran players. You know, Boo Booey being a four-year starter at point guard. You know, it's his time now as a senior, you know, and, and for us to be the team that we need to be, we need him to be an all-conference caliber you know, performer, which I think he can be. I think he's one of the leading returning scorers in the conference. And I think his growth over the last four years um, has been has been really good, and now it's time for him to put it all together and have a great senior year. Uh, the first time I heard about Northwestern basketball was when I was 10 years old. 
uh, my older brother Taylor was playing at Penn State. Shot clock at two, battle from the low. No! And I remember watching Juice Thompson grow up just playing against my brother, and I always thought he was another really good guard in the league. So that was the first time I ever heard of Northwestern basketball. I was actually on vacation with a family friend at the time and we were we were going on a, like a late night beach walk and I remember just getting a phone call from coach and he uh, just called me up and said, I'm on a flight uh, coming back from a vacation with my family. Uh, so I hope you know how urgent this is, but you know, we really like your game and we, and we really would like uh, to offer you a scholarship to come play here at Northwestern. And I remember just being in awe because it was my first like real true scholarship uh, from the high major level. Uh, it actually ended up being my only one. Well, Chris Collins is very high on Boo Boo. He thinks he's just going to be an exceptional player for them. Here is Bowie. It was a physical take by a freshman taking on contact and just going right through it. Everything was going going really well. I was working out, uh, you know, I was I was performing well on the court, and then I had a stress fracture in my foot, and then I was out, and I missed about a month and a half, two months. So I was just thinking about just getting healthy for the rest of that year, and then you know coming back and having a strong sophomore season. Everybody in this building is on their feet. <laughs> Missed it. <laughs> Barry. Oh, geez. Oh, he didn't know it was oh, he wow. almost hit it, and it's over. Penn State escapes onto the semifinals. It was tantalizingly close, but not to be for Northwestern. And the Cats. Although they had their highest seed ever in the Big Ten tournament, they go one and done. And no one is going to give us anything this year, guys. No one, like, don't even, in the preseason, no one is going to be saying anything about us. Great. Let them pick us last. Let them not talk about any of you guys as players. Let them talk about me getting fired. Like, good. Bring that on. Bring that on. We knew. We've always known. Like, every year I've been here, like, we've gotten a little bit better each year. And so, like, the, the core dudes who, who are here now, like, we, we all knew that we have the talent, we have, we just, we just gotta get over the hump. You guys are gonna see in your life, your life doesn't go like this all the time. Your life has some highs and it has some lows. And when you get to low points, you always are faced with a choice in your life. Do I quit or do I fight? We just said, no, like no, we're not gonna be at the bottom of the Big Ten this year. We're, we're gonna we're gonna change it, and we and we took it personal. If we want to play at a good tempo, we want to get after people defensively. We got to be in unbelievable condition. We have an opportunity right now in this group to reestablish this program. Work on three, one, two, three. Work. And you guys have that opportunity because you stuck it out. 
could feel it in the gym. Like we were just so hungry. We were so hungry just to play and prove ourselves. We were so hungry just to prove everybody else wrong. I just know like our early, early practices like was the most competitive practices that I've been a part of at this time. And you know, that kind of set the tone. We've always, every summer, you guys know, we've had something called the Pound the Rock Award, right? The Pound the Rock Award is something that we've given every year at the end of the summer to one player that we feel embodies what Pound the Rock means. That embodies what Pound the Rock means, okay? I feel like this summer there's a lot of guys that embody that. I think everybody embodies that, okay? But I choose to single out one person today. Someone that gets no fans, but the kind of person that helps us win. Comes every day, shows up, busts their ass, does everything that's expected of them, only thinks about the team. And so today, for Pound the Rock, I want to recognize Roy Dixon. <laughs> Normally, we've given out this trophy, right, for Pound the Rock. Normally, we've given out I'm not giving out the trophy, okay? So for Roy winning Pound the Rock this summer, he's going on full stop. Yeah! Yeah! Working my ass off, just be the best person I can for you guys, for the team. It's one of the best honors of my life now. I'm not gonna take advantage of it. I'm gonna work hard, keep working hard. Let's make the turn. Hey! Really the only memory outside of like my playing time here is watching the 2016-2017 group, um, watching them go to the tournament, watching the Vanderbilt game, the ending of that, and I'm just like, wow, that's crazy. McIntosh has had the answers today for Northwestern. Does he have one here as we approach 115 to play? has the answer. Northwestern back up one. The chance on the attack. The chance gets it to go. You got to attack quickly. Northwestern does have a timeout, and Fisher Davis fouls McIntosh. See some crazy things in this tournament. Add that to the list. McIntosh makes them both. Northwestern back up one. Five seconds left, for chance from deep, no good, big rebound, tipped out of bounds, Northwestern has the basketball. Fisher Davis went to the court, no good, and Northwestern has won. And in their first ever NCAA tournament game, the Northwestern Wildcats are moving on in the big dance. And I remember thinking to myself, like, how cool would it be to, you know, be part of that group that takes, you know, a school to the to the dance for the first time. And now being able to do it, you know, is the second time, but being able to build off, you know, what, what BMAC and, and his class and, and everybody who's been here before us, um, you know, being able to build off that just, you know, means the world. My sophomore year, I remember, you know, we started out really well. Once conference season started, we, we won our first three games and we were ranked 19th in the country. The Wildcats win! Holy moly! The Wildcats are 3-0 and in the Big Ten for the first time in 53 years. And, you know, things kind of just went downhill from there. 
it was a crazy turnaround in the worst way possible. And we went on a 13 game losing streak and there was, it felt like there was never any happy days during that season. Illinois will dribble this one out and the Illini outscore Northwestern by 40 points in the second half to win it 81 to 56. I'm pretty sure everyone probably just wanted that season to be over at, at some point. I think the biggest, like the biggest low point that I've faced individually was it would have been my sophomore year on the road at Wisconsin. Obviously we weren't winning a lot of games, so it was a struggle, you know, in that point, but I was battling an injury. Um, had a pretty bad, you know, ankle injury, and I kind of could just continue to play it, but I'm gonna be honest, like my shot wasn't fully there, so I, was, I started to question it. Barron, yeah, you can just see his hesitancy to shoot the basketball, second-guessing himself. Robbie Barron has got to be aggressive, and he's gotta let that fly. What a move, what a reverse for Johnny Davis. Chris Collins sensing things getting out of control, and he's gonna take a timeout as the Badgers all of a sudden up a dozen. It was kind of one of those moments like, look, like, I trust you, like every shot you shoot, like it's our shot. Um, and just like, it was a low point. We felt embarrassed almost. And so I think we just used that as fuel going into our junior year, even though our junior year wasn't the way, it didn't go the way we wanted it to. You know, we improved in the league. We want more games. Offensive rebound, though, for Adij. Barron for three. You know, there's been some low points here, but then there's also been so many high points. And, you know, we try not to get too low um, because, you know, a college basketball season is long. Um, you know, it's not going to be all rainbow and sunshines, but. It's also not going to be all, you know, mud and dirt. Let's go! Let's go! We won a postseason game uh, in the Big Ten tournament, and that next game we got—I remember—we just got completely destroyed by Iowa. Split two defenders. Robracha cleaning up the buoy shot. Here's Perkins step back three, number twelve for the Iowa Hawkeyes. So a lot of people were, were asking me after that, like, oh, how do you come back for your senior year after you just lost like that and you guys didn't have a winning season? And I just remember just thinking to myself, like, ever since before I was coming here, you know, I gave my word to coach that I wanted to be a part of a rebuild and a part of something special and, and, and you know, bring this program back to the tournament. and. I just didn't feel like I had done my job. In Sacramento, California on Thursday and Saturday from the Big Ten, the Northwestern Wildcats. Oh! <laughs> Second trip for the Wildcats to the tournament. They earned it. Great Terrific surprise. season. Second place finish in the Big Ten where they were 12 and 8. Who will they meet? Out of the Mountain West, it's the Broncos of Boise State. Yeah. 
New York, man. New York, what up, baby? Yes, sir. New York, New York. Boo, Brooke, Brooke, Hi, Boo. Hi, Brooke, nice to meet nice you. Nice to meet you. This is everything, you know, people coming out and supporting us as they've done all year. And for, for this group to do something for the second time in program history is just truly, truly incredible. And we're going to go in and prepare and get ready for this next tournament. It's a new season, so we can't look, we can't look in the past. We can only look towards the future. Thank you. You're Great welcome. Job. Thank you. You gotta hit it hard. This, this, this table's really slow. When the camera get on, I get him. Ah! <laughs> You're right, very different. Uh, send it down here, send it down here. We call it that pocket. That's the easiest shot to get. Just a couple things is basketball is a game of joy and when you are joyful you play at your best and I, I just just leave it out there lift each other up and and I'm telling you guys you're a damn good team and so I want you to start thinking that way please yes, okay yes, thank you for letting me be here and I thank you guys so much I love and care about you you know way all the texts and stuff I send you guys mm -hmm. so when I speak to you I'm always going to tell you the truth Right? Because that's what we want, right? So let's 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 bust our ass on Tuesday night, okay? Good job, boys. Baby on three. One, two, three. Baby. Guys, this is what you work for. This is why we're there all summer. This is why we do all that to play in championship games against good teams. On paper and, and from what everybody, you know, was saying, like we were supposed to get blown out. You know what I mean? They're way bigger than us, stronger than us. They play in the SEC, they're tougher. But we're kind of on our side, just like we know we can compete with these guys. And here's a steal. Adige has a breakaway. Adige to the rim, throws it down with two hands. And the Cats are within one, 22-21. I mean, this has just been a magnificent game to watch the strength and grit of the Wildcats here against the 13th ranked Auburn Tigers. Nobody could hit a shot. Like it was it was really a rough game, but like our defense really came up big. We were playing super aggressive. Even now, like we look back at clips from the Auburn game, like this is what we gotta get to. Like this is gonna win us championships, this type of level of effort. There's Nicholson for a dunk and we're tied. End of that game, I had the opportunity to, to uh, win it with the shot, and I missed. And even like to this day, like I still think about different things I could have done. Barry is going to throw it in left sideline. 12.8 to go, 12 on the shot clock. 43-42 Auburn. Barry looking, goes to Barrett, hands to Adij, down to eight to shoot. Chase Adij. Trouble with his footing, puts up a jumper, no good. Rebound tipped around, loose on the floor, and that's it. Time has expired. Auburn has won it. A heartbreaking loss for the Wildcats. It is what it is. It happened, you know, and it taught me a lot. But just leaving that trip, we were just extremely confident. You know, we was extremely confident that we could compete with anybody really in the country.
Seventh seeded Cats getting set to take on tenth seeded Boise State looking for their second ever NCAA tournament win. Of course, this second appearance feels almost as sweet as the first one, especially considering the expectations coming into the season. Sack down, here we come. <laughs> Bro, at what age, at what age do you think um, Roy gonna be bald? Like, Forty. I think 40. I think Roy will be bald at you like him? at thirty five. Awesome. His sh is every day I see <laughs> that shit just. I said no way. Every day his sh just get pushed back just a little bit more. I haven't really thought about the March Madness um, as of right now, but like. As a kid, though, that was all I was thinking about. Like watching March Madness as a kid, I'm like, man, like one day I'm I'm gonna play in March Madness. Um, and so, like I remember also like these last two years, we were home for spring break, and so I'm watching um, March Madness. Like, man, I wish we were playing. Man, I wish we were there. Um, so to actually be able to to go experience that um, within this next week is gonna be something surreal for sure. Yeah, yeah. Oh, this is tough. First to three. That's it. You ready? I'll go first. Oh, that ball. No, no, no. The ball is broken. The ball is broken. These all bad balls. All right, 1 0. 1 0. Yep. 1 1. 1 1. You got it. You got it. <laughs> all right. No, this is crazy. This is crazy. Some behind the scenes of, 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 our, of our team's success this year, um, CeeLo has come in a lot and, and you know, really focused on our defensive principles, being really aggressive on, on defense but being smart as well. And also, you know, we have Boo and Chase who are two of the best scorers in college basketball. So having them um, be our guys and our leaders really like helps us because on, on nights, one of them can go for 30, and one can have 20. And then on a night where they're not, where they're not getting it going. You know, we have other guys who can step up and, and help us out. So just knowing, knowing that, and and everyone, you know, looking for each other and playing for each other, um, has really just made us the the great team that we were this year. Western stops the streak. They had lost eight straight to Illinois until tonight. You know, the student support is something that I couldn't even put words to. Seeing the whole the whole spectrum where, you know, we played a lot of games where it's just like kind of COVID, you know, no, no crowd, just us and just hooping. I remember my sit out here. I'm in the dining hall. This is why I'm not even playing, so people don't even know I play basketball. And I hear these random kids talking about the basketball team and our upcoming game, and they're just like, yeah, I heard the basketball team has a game, but I would never go to that. They suck. Just straight up, like, they suck. I'm just like, wow. Like, I don't even want to sit here and say that I'm on the basketball team. Even like last year where like we had big time like Big Ten games and teams coming here and the gym is just empty. Like there's no energy, like the student section is empty to this year where it's like my mom's coming to the game and she's waiting in the line of a hundred people and she's like, Jeez, how do I get in? I'm just like, Mom, I can't even help you right now. But it's just like crazy. Nicholson looking for Chase. He's got him, screens for him. He'll take a three straight on. It's good! Chase on each for three, one point game. All cats a chance to take their first lead. An eight nothing run, Roper in traffic. Adige, he'll drive, lay it up and in. And for the first time tonight, the Wildcats lead. No, I, I, I couldn't imagine Welsh being like that, that crazy and, and rocking like that loud. So really like seeing that happen has been, it's really just been crazy and like 
I've played in some crazy arenas and our students are, are some of the best that I've ever played in, and been around. So um, I really credit our student sections and our fan bases for, for really popping out this year, for sure. And they're rowdy and they're, they're chanting for free chicken sandwiches. Like, they miss free throws. You know, they, they have communication errors when it's, when it's jumping. <laughs> The Wildcats fall to Michigan tonight, 68 to 51. On that two-game losing streak, we lost back-to-back -back games, and uh, you know things were really different from previous years. You know, in previous years, guys would have gotten down, and you know there would have been this this weird vibe in the locker room as if everyone feels uh, as if we can't win, and that was not the case this year. We kind of was real with each other. I feel like in the past, you would have been like. It's all right, it's just a loss. Like, let's try to bounce back and just come back to practice. But I think we needed the time just to be real with each other and be like, this next Wisconsin game is like the most important game of the year. Nicholson, high post play there by Crown. Now a straight on three, Robbie Barron knocks it down. Nicholson right on the floor. Oh. I know what it takes to win in this league and you know, I could see the talent in our team, you know. It's just was whether we were we gonna be connected and were we gonna be tough enough to go win. In the corner, Barron three. Good, Robbie Barron. Hepburn falling away, short. Loose ball, Bowie's got it in a whistle. chance to give Northwestern a three-point lead. Rui, two massive free throws, and Northwestern escapes. Hey, go! They sweep Wisconsin for the first time since 1996. I can see why he's the blue guy. Tapped out, but it goes to Barnheiser. He'll take that three. He'll take that three all night. Barnheiser. Barnheiser. Burning it up. This is big time, man. A Northwestern team has only come into Ohio State twice in 48 in years and one. 48 years. This is one of them. And we needed everybody. And as we go forward, we got to keep needing everybody. And now it's great. We get an opportunity to play the number one team in the country. Oh, yeah. 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 We got to lock into our prep and we'll be ready to go on Sunday yes, afternoon. Yes, hey, good job. We freaking did it. Hey, we getting this one on Sunday too. Yes, yes, sir. Yeah, yeah. Family on three. One, two, three. Family, Family touch it. Touch it. Touch it. After the, the journey that you've been on, bouncing around a couple different other schools, what does it mean to get to, to kind of wrap up your career here back at home? It's very nice. You know, it's, you know, like you said, I've been at a couple schools now, and obviously I've never been on back home in the West Coast, so this is really nice. What have you learned in your crash course on Boise State? Just a really good team. They have uh, five starters that are all in double figures, so they're pretty deep in terms of, like, who can hurt you. Uh, Nick Martelli, you have been just so incredible off the bench for Northwestern this year. Uh, coming from a local high school, how important is Northwestern to you? Uh, next question. Yeah, thank you. We're excited to be here and excited to compete in the NCAA tournament. Great time of year. Chris, there were a lot of hot takes coming into the season about job security and such, <laughs> and I'm curious if it's true that you were coaching for your job this year. I never viewed it like that. 
coaches always put pressure on themselves. That's what we do. You know, we, we put pressure on ourselves to be at our very best, to help our guys be successful out on the court. You know, I, I never felt like it was make or break in any situation. I was just trying to be at the best for the guys and, and do, do our best as a staff to help them win. We have an older group. Our, our two guards, Boo Booey, Chase Ardige, they're guys who've been three and four year starters. Robbie Barron's been a four year starter. Ty Berry, Matt Nicholson, they're older guys. You know, they've been through a lot. I think our team really rallied around each other this year. You know, this the kind of noise around that we couldn't do it. I mean, it was a nice rallying cry because we believed we could. It's just such a great thing for these guys because they're the ones that have put in the time. They're the ones that have done it. And to go out there and, and have the season we've had and put ourselves in position to be out here has made it really special for me as a coach. I did not think there'd be that many people here already. We have an hour and a half until the game starts, so we're so ready. Cats by 20. Oh, wow. At least six. I'll, I'll, go, I'll go five. Let's go! Go yeah! oh. Cats! Go Cats! It's, 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 our, it's our Cinderella story. It starts right now. Chase Dobbins is going for 40 tonight. Yeah, I, I think so. That's the spark right there. He's the spark. It's funny, I think the day before that practice, it really wasn't one of our best practices. Uh, we kind of, we were not as sharp as we needed to be, and uh, even at the end of practice, we was like, all right, we just got to flex this practice and come to my right play. Here's Bowie out in front. Gets a screen from Nicholson. Takes it right in the lane, and the slam off the alley-oop! Obviously, there's so many stakes. The fans are wanting this game so bad, and, and just, you know, we want this game so bad, and. So I'm one team in the country sitting right there and we're right there with them, but it feels like every time we make a punch, they throw two punches back. Hey, we're right here, man. We gotta lock in. Come on, fellas, come on. Hey, win this four, win this four. Two, two, four, 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 defense. defense. He's, He's playing, defense. don't worry about nothing. But for me, honestly, I was playing one of the worst games of my career, to be honest, before that last four minutes. I forgot what I was. I was probably like one for 10 or something like that. I remember thinking in my head, like, wow, like, this is the game I choose to play the worst game I could possibly have. They've got, just got to start making some shots here. Their defense has been really good, but they've got to make shots now down the, down the stretch. Coach called a play for Ty out the, out the timeout, and uh, he ran it perfectly. Like, Ty got a wide open shot, but he missed it. But then uh, I was kind of in the corner. I should have been getting back on defense, to be honest, but I was standing in the corner like, dang, like, like we needed that one. And then Boo got the rebound, and I just like, snapped out of everything I was thinking about and just ran to the corner and kicked it out to me. I shot it. Chase on these three-pointer! The next possession down, I'm like, I know exactly what play they're going to run. They're going to try to run somebody up to the top and throw it to Edie. Here's Smith, up top, Lawyer, and it knocked away. Bunnies the steal and a breakaway. Bunnies to the rim, throws it down with two hands. I just felt the fans in that situation, so I just started screaming at the fans like I was one of them. Like, I just kind of just felt like I was one of them in that moment. There's Barnheiser, scoops on East, right corner for the lead. He got it, three corner, Chase on East. Purdue down two, here's Edie, they double him. He throws it up for grabs, on East steals it. Here's Barry Lee, pass Barnheiser, lays it in. 37 seconds to go, 61-50 second. We won and it, they stormed the court. That's something I'll really never, ever forget. Highbury protecting the ball. Purdue back in the foul. And for the first time ever, the Wildcats have knocked off the number one team in the country. They have defeated the Purdue Barnes Bakers. The improbable season has taken an impossible turn.
that that was that wasn't me. That was God. Like that 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 didn't even feel like I was on the court. It was just everything just felt perfect. The storm in the court kind of started to show me a little bit of uh, the history like we're making, you know, uh, just simply because I've been here for four years and the court's never been stormed once. But quite honestly, it, it doesn't all feel like as real as it will when I'm done. 32.6 to go as Barron looks to get it in and it's stolen by Cobb to Jackson Davis, he scores, and we're tied at 62. 28 seconds to go, tie game. I remember hearing their coaching staff yelling, he can't go left, he can't go left. Yeah, this is just going to be Boo Booey one-on-one -on -one with Trey Galloway, get your game on. And so I'm like, all right, I'm going to go left. I know he's going to try to cut me off, and I'm going to fake it, and I'm going to go right back right. With five. Boo drives in, short jumper, good, with 1.8, Cats lead it, Luke Tafito from midcourt, good if it goes, no good, Wildcats win, the Wildcats win, Boo Booey the game winner with 1.8, and the Wildcats sweep the Indiana Hoosiers. It was a moment of, a moment of reward for everything that uh, we have been through, and just what it what it means to this program to you know go out there and win a game like that. You know, I, I truly feel like everyone felt like they made that shot because of how much we all have invested. Maybe the biggest shot of his career, he's out there dancing at midcourt. You've been through the trials and tribulations. What does it mean to get to 10 Big Ten wins? And that's been the magic number to get in the NCAA tournament. What's that mean for you? Yeah, it's, it's everything. It means everything. You know, this is the second time that, that a team from Northwestern may make the tournament. And, you know, so it's just it's such a blessing, and I'm super grateful. We got, we got more to prove, right? Yes, we got sir. Iowa coming in here. We got Iowa we coming in one. here to, we need to, our to, back. to play them on Sunday, but I do have one thing to say. We're going to yeah. If you would have told us that, that those, those five games, we would go 5-0 and oh at the beginning of the year, I would have been like, man, well, that's, that's crazy, because that's a tough stretch for sure. Northwestern has won four in a row, and yes, second place. They're battling for a Big Ten title. I think Northwestern's a great story, Brandon. One of the best in all of college basketball this season. Here's Bowie gets a straight for Verhoeven. Bounces to Verhoeven. Boo, driving, jump pass, right corner, Barrett, touch pass, Barry, round to Barnheiser for three, he got it! Northwestern is going to snap a nine-game losing streak against Iowa. They have now won five in a row. What's going on here, coach? This atmosphere is awesome, isn't it, man? Like, yeah. this is everything we hoped. Good views, good sun, good weather, good ball tomorrow. Yeah, when I was younger, I probably probably didn't think that I'd be playing, you know, in March Madness. It's something that, you know, you watch. It's something that you fill out a bracket every single year. It's just something like it's part of habit. And to be here, to, to get to the dance, you know, with our group of guys, it just means the world to me. I just want to enjoy every single moment of it, soak it in. March Madness, man, like, that's what you dream about.
What's the key tonight for the Wildcats in your opinion? Just to continue to play with the passion and energy that they've played with the entire season. That's the key tonight. This is what it's about. There are people going home, but that ain't gonna be perfect, right? So let's be focused and completely locked into your jobs today. Completely locked in, because they are different and we are doing different things. So we have to be completely locked in and totally trust, blind trust in your brother, all right? Be us, okay? Don't overcomplicate it. Play basketball. Play basketball, all right? It's all hoop out there. We go out there, that thing goes up, it's 40 minutes of hoop. It doesn't change what we do. Northwestern finished second in the Big Ten after being picked to finish 13 out of the 14 teams. So they've been a little bit of a surprise. Boise State coming out of the Mountain West Conference, 24-9 during the season. That's will have their hands full tonight. It's been such a journey um, and like I get emotional thinking about you know my time here just like I was a kid when I came here. It means a lot to, to go through you know what we did, what me, Chase, Boo, Roy as a class. I think this year isn't by accident, but it's the foundation and everything that everybody gives, um, you know, every single day. All the emotions of senior night, like my mom came out to that game and everybody with their families, everybody's feeling good. We know that we should come in there and win that game. Six the shot clock. Pick it. Fade away for Bowie. No. Oh, and he the ball. offensive rebound. He got it back with five. Skips it out into the corner. Sitting up Richard for the lead. Yes! Cameron Winter knocks it down. Cold blooded from the corner. Barron running the baseline. Now Eves is on the floor. Bowie's got it. Turns. Puts up a three. Off the rim, no good, and Penn State survives. That was oh so close. It kind of felt like everything that we kind of worked for to that point was just like, you know, slipping a little bit. After that game, it was just, you know, a lot of sadness, a lot of disappointment. But I think after that, we, we really did kind of come together. And it was like, we got one more game left in this season. It's at Rutgers. We lost Rutgers on a buzzer beard, like how we just lost to Penn State. Family on three, family on three. One, two, three. Family. And we came back to all the stuff that we were saying before, like with holding each other accountable, all the meetings that we had, everything that, you know, brought us to the, to the point where we was at. We was like, we got to put it into this game. And then we also saw the stakes. It was like, if we win, we're the second seed. If we lose, we're the ninth seed. So it was like, we didn't hide from that. We embraced that. And then we came into that game. We did what we had to do. Let's go, bro. The Wildcats come into this game playing for the second seed in this week's Big Ten Tournament at the United Center. If the Wildcats lose here tonight, they fall to the ninth seed in the Big Ten Tournament. Billy McKinney, how crazy is all of this? It's absolutely insane. Everybody says this is a special team, but
But like you said, uh, when you're fiery and you have a heart and a will, a lot of things can happen. You know, with guys like Matthew Nicholson and Brooks Barnheiser, for them to be able to step up and come into big time games and big time environments and make big time winning plays during those games is just incredible. Barnheiser spinning high off the glass. Brooks Barnheiser with eight. He has really come on. He was such a prolific scorer in high school at Lafayette Jefferson where he played for his father. <laughs> What a night for Brooks Barnheiser, he has 13. I'm just super proud because they deserve it. They deserve it like anybody else on this team and they put in the work. They came every day, you know, stayed the grind, stayed the course and just kept believing in themselves. Going for a program record 12th Big Ten victory. Barnheiser attacks, two more. Four. Western has been that tonight. They really have. And now Adij getting down here. Oh, top fourth dunk of the night for Matthew Nicholson. Back with a three. And Northwestern, their largest lead of the night. Bowie at the end range. Now Bowie with his third three of the second half and another stare down. And the Northwestern Wildcats are the number two seed in the Big Ten Tournament. Best regular season in school history. Hey, we're making a change, baby, let's go. In this most unusual of Big Ten seasons, 21 wins, and for the first time in their history, 12 Big Ten Conference wins. Chris Collins, again, you, you give him credit for getting his team ready to play this game and understanding the importance of it and how they respond tonight. Proud in everybody in this locker room, bro. It gave me something to remember for the rest of my life, bro. I want to say this about Chris Collins. You know, he gives us credit to the players, but he and his coaching staff have really poured their heart into this program. And I can say this on behalf of all the former players that have ever donned the purple and white. Uh, we're very proud of what this team has accomplished and will continue to accomplish this year. The choice of both the media and his fellow coaches, seven quad one wins, including their first ever win over a number one team. All this for a group that was picked 13th in the league in the preseason. I like the young staff of Brian McIntosh, Taylor Battle. You, you think about them mentoring Bowie and Adige, and then Chris Lowry uh, coming in, totally changed their identity. Everything just coming together and just for us and you know me individually to get those awards and just seeing where we are as a team is definitely like it's like a movie like I don't know it's, it's, it's weird. Tipped around and Abo gets it back gets it to Rice and now inside on the baseline they lost Smith and he scores and it's eight to five. Whiting, steal by Odige. It's tipped high in the air. Martinelli's got a three against one on the fast break to the rim. Lays it in. Timeout, Boise State as the Cats go up by nine, 17 8. And the Cats showing their calling card, their tough defense, playing the passing lanes, active hands, coming up, forcing turnovers, and getting easy strikes. 
Rodin, high left. Chase drives past Shaver, gets to the baseline. Jumper there is short. Rebound to Hooven. Back to Odige, left corner three. Good. Chase Odige, three pointer. He's off to a hot start with seven. The Cats are up by ten. Four straight for the Broncos. Yeah, the Broncos starting to pick up their intensity a little bit, starting to understand they're in a real streak fight. Played by Audis, gets it into Milner, it's tipped and stolen. Audis has it. Three against two on the break, and his pass stolen back by Whiting. Ahead to Shaver, drives past Nicholson, feeds it, and a reverse dunk. Good by Smith. Skip pass to Barry. Left side three. Good by Barry. Three pointer. 508 to go in the half. Pass are up. 27 22. Bowie in the paint. Stop and go behind the back dribble. Floater good. Oh, what a move by Boo Bowie. And the Wildcats are up 29-22. Now that will be on Sports Center. Somebody got shook out of their shoes. They lost their ankles there. Shot clock at five. Feeds it to Dagenhart. Mid post left. They double it. They heaves it to Rice. Three in the air. Got it. With one on the shot clock. I mean, a deep three that came from Phoenix. 38-32, the score here at halftime. Continue to play, don't let them speed us up, right, offensively. Continue to run our stuff. Talk the game, we got plenty of time. Get your rest, it's a 20 minute fight, man. 20 minute fight. You got time to be tired after, man. No yes, time sir. to be tired during, let's go. Win on three, one, two, three. Win. Dewey down the lane, throws up a shot off the backboard to the rim, no good shape of the rebound, and to Rice, Rice step back, three, got it, and we're tied at 40. Sacramento, California, the NCAA tournament. You're going to go through points like that through any ball game, and the key is to not let it linger too long and to right the ship and get it going again. Bowie quickly to Barron. He'll try a three for the lead. It's no good. Rebound Barry to Bowie. Ran Onish for three. Good. Chase Onish, his second three of the game. The Wildcats are back in front. Onish to Bowie in the corner. Doesn't shoot. Runs the baseline. Kicks it out to Barry for three. Good. Ty Barry. Pressured a bit, one dribble, handoff, Bowie, who driving, goes up, puts up the shot and scores. First points this half for Bowie, he's got 13. For Hooven at the top, hands to Bowie. Who leads it, fires a floater, got it, and a foul. There's Shaver, right baseline, floater good. Lead cut to two for the Wildcats with 9.49 to go. Bowie, they double him. He feeds on ease. Jump pass back to Boo. Open three. Good! Boo Booey, three-pointer. Right now, the Cats really need to ratchet up their defensive pressure and get a couple of stops here. Deflected by on ease. Head to the arms of Burt Hooven. Ask and ye shall receive, Billy McKinney. Down the lane, Barnheiser. Little jumper in and out. Tipped up. Good! By Brooks Barnheiser. And the Wildcats are up. Goes up to the basket, missed the shot, missed everything. Rebound Barnheiser. Barnheiser to the rim, layup, good. 74-62. Rice at the other end. His pass tipped out of bounds by Audige. Wildcats aren't done dancing yet. Survive and advance. 
Bowl game over. The Wildcats win. Every set, let's go. The Northwestern Wildcats win their second ever NCAA tournament game Good job, man. as they knock off the Boise State Broncos. And they are headed to the second round here on Saturday against UCLA or UNC Asheville. Who are we waiting on? Anybody? Nope. Here we go! I'm so proud of this team. I, I've said it all year long. Um, I can be really happy, but I'm happy for these guys, man. They, they've been so loyal to this program. They've stayed true to our mission. They've stayed true to the, the course we were on. They stuck through the heavy waters at times. And when you get to this point now, it just it's so rewarding and so joyful as a coach to see these guys celebrating and, and to be on the big stage like that, playing well and finding a way to win and advance in the NCAA tournament. First tournament game. What was it like out there? Insanity. Really, insanity. There's so many emotions and so many like, you, like it's so hard not to, to think about anything else. But I feel like once we once we settle down and locked into the to the game plan and each other in the court, it felt like a normal game. But I can't lie, first, little Jerry. Coming into the season, uh, I remember we had a team meeting. We were just like, you know, whoever wants to be here, stay in this room. If you don't want to be here, then get out now. It just felt like so many people were just like leaving the program and just, you know, I'll say everybody had their own reasons to family or, or, you know, whatever it may be. But I mean, at the end of the day, like they chose somewhere else other than being here, you know? And I think for me personally, I kind of just had a feeling like it was it was something special was bound to happen. They had us pick 13th. They had us pick 13th at the beginning of the year. Uh, we we had a huddle in the in the team room. Some some choice words, but just between us that said like, you know, we all we got. Excuse my language, and you can mute it out. But everybody else like it's it's just us you know if people don't believe in us but but we do you know anybody in this locker room um, who really doesn't believe you know you can leave but nobody left listen to me man six months ago no one believed we were going to be standing here but you know what we did you guys did we did and we deserve to be here we deserve to be here because we're damn good and you know what? We deserve to win this game, and we're going to go out there and win this game. Everybody, dog, 40 minutes. Come on, bro. Leave it all out there, bro. Take it from them, bro. Take it. Win all three. One, two, three. Win. At stake here tonight, a trip to the NCAA tournament's Sweet 16. Barry driving, goes up his shot, blocked by Nuba. Taken by Andrews, ahead to Bailey. Scoops it to Akaz, who throws it down with two hands. Timeout here with 5.24 to go in the first half.
35 to 25. It's UCLA in front here at halftime. Talk the game. We're right there, man. We come out and go on a little, like we're gonna win this game. It's a 10 point game. All right, talk about winning. Let's go, Kurt. Let's go, Kurt. Play with reckless abandon here. Play with that same heart energy that they played with for the entire year. A 10 point lead is not insurmountable and they've got to get their scorers going. Chase Ardiz and, and Boo Boy. Look for them to have a big second half. 41, 32, 16, 13 to go. And the Cats bench up. Fans cheering for the Cats to come up with a stop here. Cats inside, stolen by Barnheiser. Drive, pull up jumper from the right, good! Chase on Ease gets the Wildcat back within seven. There's Bowie bouncing on Ease, he'll try another three. Good again! Chase on Ease has eaten up, and the Wildcats are within six. Go! Let's go! And Boo works his way down low. He's got two defenders on the left, and up for Nicholas, and he throws it down, and it's a four point game. against Haquez. Drives in, goes up for the shot, scores on the layup. The drive by Chase Aldige. The lead is two for UCLA with 12-10 to go, 45-43. With five, Campbell turns the corner, spins inside, shot, wild shot, no good, a rebound, Barnhauser. Barnhauser into the front court to Barry, a spot up three. No good, he got his own rebound. Goes back out to Adige. Bowie for three. Good! Boo Bowie three-pointer, one-point game. this year as leaders and and I can't thank you guys enough for all the staff Did I just say something? yes <coughs> as a senior bro for me personally this is the best year I ever played playing basketball bro it was the best year I ever had playing basketball let alone in my life y'all allowed me to be me bro every single day bro y'all came y'all had my back some days I'll be on y'all I'll be on y'all in the game, bro. Y'all allowed me to be me. Coach, you allowed to be me. Y'all all coach me hard as hell. Y'all allowed me to be me, bro. And y'all allow everybody to be everybody, bro. That's why we had success. And with that being said, bro, we showed up every single day, bro. And in order to keep this tradition going, bro, and to keep Northwestern's name out of bro, you younger guys, bro, y'all gotta pick that shit up, bro. Y'all gotta take that shit to heart, bro. It can't be about one person or this or that, bro. It's gotta be a team effort every single time, bro. Stick it out, bro, in life, bro. Life is gonna hit you with all types of blows, bro. You gotta stand on your two feet with your 10 toes, bro. Love y'all, boys. Let's, let's just, like, let's just enjoy the fact that we had an unbelievable group this year. You guys had each other's back. You loved each other like brothers. 
and this will be a bond that, that we'll always have together for the rest of all of our lives. Okay? All right, let's get together. Last time we're going to say family as a team, man. Family on three. One, two, three. Family. family. Okay, pretty. We moving on. That's all.